so yesterday we just you know discussed uh, lastly so how to create a selection screen we have taken addition of the program addition of two numbers program and then we made it that program dynamic right so now on top of that we are going to have couple of additions for the selection screen that we are going to see now So is it eight? Yeah. So is this a program? So we had so selection screen here. Okay. So now so we are going to have radio buttons. Okay. Let's see like I mean how we can get the radio buttons. Okay. Sorry, checkbox, then we'll see the radio button. So I'm just going to create another program. Eight. on create button give this some description local object okay now just see Same parameter only, but simple parameter name as checkbox you should use it. That's it. If you want to create a checkbox in the selection screen, so this is the syntax you should follow. Okay. And the second one is, I mean, normal selection input, uh, you know, item. And this is again, it is a checkbox, but default text means, so by default, it will be checked, the checkbox. Okay. So this is the, you know, additions and parameters, different, different additions for various kinds of requirements. Okay, now you can execute and just see. Yes. Did you guys observe this checkbox? You can check it. Okay. So you can by default this is check right programmatically we did that so this is the execute button so after execute whatever code you'll write that will be following that you have seen in the addition program how it will be you are using okay so any doubts here before proceeding in radio buttons Yes. Now we are going to create a radio button. I'm just going to comment this. Any questions guys? Somebody unmute.
Yes, Ram, uh, like, sorry. Uh, uh, when we give default X, is it like, can we give mm -hmm. default Y or something like that? No, 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 always should be X. I mean, X is the value if it is checked. Okay? It's okay. a kind of S or no kind of thing. Okay? Yeah. So, if it is checked, it will be X. If it is not checked, it is empty. Okay, yeah. Thank you, Raju. Even for radio button also same. Sorry? Yeah, nothing, go ahead. Okay, yeah. See, radio buttons. So basically, radio buttons will be having more than one, right? Okay. Either this, this option or that option kind of requirements we will be using, right? So, see here, we have four radio buttons. Four radio buttons, we made it under two groups. Radio button, group G1. And this is second one, radio button, group G1. That means that these two radio buttons are one group. So, at a time, any one of them only can be selected, right? And the same, parameter three and four also under group, sorry, I mean G2, okay? So by default, the parameter four is selected here, okay? If you don't mention the in the group item, whatever it is there, the first one will be selected by default, okay? In this group, we didn't mention that, you know, by default, which to be selected. So parameter one will be automatically by default, it will be selected. Okay. So now just execute it. You'll come to know. Yes. Did you guys observe? The first one is selected by default. Okay. If you select the parameter two, the first one will be unchecked. The same way. If we go and check parameter three, parameter four will not be. Clear guys? Any confusion or any doubts here? Hey, uh, Raju, this is Sandrak. Uh, I have one question. Like, uh, can we have it on the right side that, uh, you know, the position of the button? Yes, you can have it. Okay. For that, what you should do, you should have a, you know, uh, So, like this, I mean, you know, here you want and here you want it, huh? Yeah. This is how? Okay. See, for that, uh, you know, the formatting options will be there. Like, I mean, uh, you, what you need to do, you need to have a comment, okay? Comment statement uh, we need to have. Okay, one second. I need to search for the uh, syntax. Okay, so yeah, so I mean, is it fine? Like, I mean, should I come up in the tomorrow class? This is, I mean, it will take some time. I mean, I need to, I yeah, no, no, no problem. Uh, yeah. Thank I'll, you. I'll note it down this tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'll, I'll give you the report. Okay, 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 fine. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. I mean, we did uh, a couple of times, but right now, I'm not remembering that.
okay so this is how you can define the radio buttons and now what we are going to have for this for this it is it is just plain it is there right for this we are going to create you know one block okay in the selection screen we are going to create a block so for that what is the syntax that we are going to see now So this is called starting of the block, okay, the creation of block. What we should do, selection screen, begin of block and block name with the frame title. So title for that block, title we will give. So this is text elements, we will discuss just, you know, I mean, once we complete this block uh, coding, what it is text elements and this is for ending ending block okay so now you will get it block. Just see. Do you see one block? And for this block, you can give us some title also. Okay. So that is the title option what we have given here. In form of text element we gave. Okay. So text element is nothing but in program in program in a web program anything any text okay you should not give within quotes as it is it's a kind of constant okay the constant should not be given in the program so always the you know if it is a text it should it should be in a form of text elements so text elements are nothing but it's a kind of you know i mean uh, there is one place for this program whatever the text are there like i mean we'll be storing there and it will be Assigned three digit number for that, like this is the one. Okay. Suppose so assume that I'm just giving one for this. Okay. How to create a text for this text? You just need to click double click. Okay. Program text 001 does not exist. Do you want to create the object? Yes. So just click it. Changed. Yes. So this is the text symbol, okay? Remember, here we will give the selection text. If you go to, from the, uh, you know, SC.8, you will you'll see this, okay? So if you double click, automatically you will come to here and you can give that. So some title you will give. Selection writing. Okay. Let's turn this. Okay. So we'll give zero zero one. Now you just need to save it and activate it. Come back. Just activate the program. Yes, it's activated. Now execute. You can find the title here. Selection criteria. Okay. Here.
uh, yeah uh, so this uh, yeah uh, raju sorry uh, one one question like uh, so can we give any name over there for the text element or is this the normal standard that we follow text hyphen number text hyphen 00 that number we should be okay okay text hyphen should be it should be common and okay. Okay. so you want uh, yeah go ahead uh, can i give some you know size over there in the brackets or uh, we have to give okay. it in uh, after that Uh, yeah. Zero, zero, uh, yeah. No, no. Here we won't mention any size and all. Okay. okay. Yeah. Just give that text symbol number. Okay. So if you want to go and see what is the navigation, please note it down. This go to go to menu and text elements. This is the text elements. Okay. This is the one. Okay. Even okay. you can create another text element that you can use it directly. Okay. 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 You got it. Suppose, uh, you know, I will just create zero zero two and something. Uh, general selection. Okay. I'll just write it. I'll be using that in our my program. Suppose I assume that so this is one block. First radio button group is uh, will be one block. Another will be one more block. Okay. Okay. Now I will be using that text element here. Two. Okay. Just you know. Okay. Same block. Block two. Okay. Yes. Okay, so like this, you can create blocks, and uh, you know, for that blocks, you can give titles. For that, so this is the syntax. Understood? Any confusion here? Or any doubts? Clear? Ah uh, yes, Raju. Yeah. So I think we learned. We are done with this session. Actually, it is supposed to be completed by yesterday. Yeah. So, any questions, guys? Till now, the previous session and the today, whatever we have discussed. If no questions, we'll proceed to next topic. No questions. Uh, uh, Raju, in the text elements, uh, there is another tab, right? That something to give label to. the parameters is that usable sorry which one you are talking about uh, when we uh, went to the new window of text elements where we changed the uh, details right the text 001 and text 002 correct so uh, there is something for uh, labeling the um, options i mean selection text you are talking about that that we have seen right uh, i mean in the last class we have seen how to give, how to give the labels for this uh, input items that is only that is we were talking about this selection text right here this is one right yeah yeah 
okay you can give some titles you can give like yeah it's like value one or value two okay so rest of the things so then if you want you can this this is selection text is for to maintain the labels and text symbols for any any text you know raw text if you are giving in your program that to be given here and uh, it has to be assigned to one text symbol that text symbol should be used in our program okay so like this okay okay so now we will discuss all together a new topic called data dictionary okay so data dictionary you guys know that sap is having its own database I mean, it's own database in the sense it is using some database like other applications how they will be using to store data it is also using some database okay to store data permanently right that you guys are aware and that architecture also you guys are aware now so we have a presentation layer application layer and database layer so database layer where database is residing that database can be anything it's a client specific like Based on client's requirement, they will be using like when they want to go for Oracle, Oracle they they would have gone or MS SQL or DB2, Sybase, whatever it is for that matter. Okay, so SAP application will be there. Underlying there will be some databases there. That that much you should aware it. Okay, if you are not uh, you know having an idea previously. So now we are going to talk about. everything database related okay so in sap the beauty is though it has a you know some third party database it is not related to sap we need not to go to database layer and do the database activity we need not to go okay from sap application level itself from sap application level itself you can do all kinds of database operations how it can be done by using data dictionary okay so data dictionary is the source for that to do all kinds of database activities what is data dictionary it is a kind of virtual database okay it is one face to the actual database from application perspective okay as i said we need not to go and do any kind of sql scripting to do you know any kind of database operations we need not to do that from sap application level itself you can do if you want to create a table you can create if you want to create a new entries into the table you can do that through sql level itself okay so these are all the things you can do from data dictionary okay it is about you know metadata data about data okay so any database is having you know what Basically, it will be having tables. Okay, collection of tables is a nothing but database, right? So, same here also. But the manipulating the data from application level itself through data dictionary, we will be doing. That is what it is. What is the T code for data dictionary? We have seen that already. SC eleven. SC eleven is the T code. for data dictionary okay so this are all some kind of theory things okay now we will see you guys know database means it's a collection of tables right so table what it will be consisting so every table will be having columns okay multiple columns it will be having we call it is fields so how field will be created in sap the field will be created by using data element how data element will be created by using domain okay 
So we will be discussing in detail about what is data element and what is domain while we creating table. Just here also you can see this, you know, PPT little bit they have given what is data element, what is domain. So field basically this is the field name at the table level, okay? And the field can be a primary key or non uh, non primary key table, okay? So all the attributes attributes is nothing but what kind of data data type and length all those things will be inherited from data element level what is data element data element will be having all these properties properties in the sense data type okay and the field labels all those things data element level you can have it okay and then on top of that again so domain also there domain is the actual technical characteristics of a field will be having okay like all data type what is the length and the output length how much it should be and any other you know value table assigned to this field all those things details will be assigned at a domain level okay so now we will see a table i mean you know system level how a table will be created any doubts guys i mean about the database in sap what idea you guys are having can someone tell me before proceeding table creation or else what did you understand uh, till now like whatever theory i have given about the data dictionary what do you understand whatever the understanding is fine because i want to understand how you guys are thinking about the data dictionary part and data is role in our application can someone tell me Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes, Raju. Uh, so, uh, what I understood is like you know SAP uh, can connect to any uh, database like you know SQL or Oracle or something like that. But and we can have you know uh, the uh, we can create the tables in the database or we can uh, manipulate the table via application SAP application itself. So for that purpose. It uses uh, something called this, uh, you know, the, the different levels of, you know, abstractions. So in the table we have the fields or the columns, and, uh, you know, uh, in SAP we have something called a data element, which will have the, uh, you know, um, field labels, right? And yeah. it is the domain which has the all the characteristics or something called uh, for for a particular row in the table uh, it refers to a row in the table right the domain uh, so uh, it oh, all field, field. okay oh, field in the field. Table. All... okay okay so, yeah, okay yeah so i yeah okay so suppose i i have a table oh no okay which consists of two columns right employee number and the employee name and it has multiple rows okay for rows and columns right so uh, suppose uh, the number of data in the table is four so in uh, it will have four domains right to refer to each uh, each you know cell right no no i, I think you got confused okay yeah. see if you have it two columns if you have it two columns Mm -hmm. Only two domains will be there. Okay, so this is we are defining structure. First, table creation is nothing but a structure. We are defining the table definition, right? Okay. Then, once you create the definition, then we will be entering the data. Okay. So, character technical characteristics is nothing but for a column. What are the technical you know details? Right. I mean, you know, it's called you know its type data type its length all those things are technical characteristics right those details will be residing at domain level okay okay so but seeing, yeah but uh, in here you you told right the value of the table also uh, you know specified at the domain right value table right this is a value oh, table okay. is a different one 
ओके 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 या 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 गॉट गॉट इट इट सो सो एंड वन मोर थिंग हियर द डेटाबेस बिकॉज़ वी 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 डेवलपर्स विल नॉट बी इन्वॉल्विंग इनटू डेटाबेस लेयर ओके विल नॉट गो आवर यू नो एक्सेस इज एस सी लेवन थ्रू एस सी लेवन ओनली विल गो एंड वी विल इनवोक दिटाबेस यू नो आइटम्स think about sap end user who uses sap application at business level they will not be having any access okay they will be always they will be having access some t code access only for their business purposes for their day to day business whatever they want to do those t codes only will be available for them okay like these are all developer t codes right they will not be having access okay that also you should aware so now we are going to create a table now okay so what is the t code sc11 yes so this is the initial screen of a data dictionary we have many you know database items we will discuss one by one this okay later on now we will see database table so database table it is a independent object and whatever we create is a custom object right so like that sap is also provided many tables because it's a ready made application they have their own tables okay that we call it is a standard tables so standard tables the tables which we create is a custom tables so if it is a custom object in sap the naming standard should be the first letter should be either g or y we should can we should start right so same table name also the same rule applies g employee okay so now once you provide the table name now click on create button guys here navigation is i mean you know many uh, many what is like many levels of navigation are there better you please note it down each and every step that will helpful for you you know to practice go to sc11 and click on database table enter the table name like that you should write okay that's how i learned okay sir yeah much yeah okay then click on create button so now here we should give short description so it is a employee type right employee Table. Okay, so then we have a delivery and maintenance tab is open. So in that delivery class is there. So delivery class is nothing but what kind of data it is. Okay, what kind of data? Okay, so like you know, if it is an application table data, like kind of a master table or transaction table, or some kind of you know functional related customizing table. Okay. just or else if you are storing for temporary okay all those things these are all then uh, you know sap related i mean they are for their own uses okay internal they will use system tables okay so like that we have different different delivery classes are there okay so accordingly whatever the for which you purpose you are you are creating accordingly you just select it most of the time we will be choosing application table as a developer and then we have a you know display maintenance alert so we will be having three options here so what it means so once we create a table do you want to allow this table to be maintained or to be displayed so that option we will decide here okay if you if you don't want to go for any display maintenance option we will select okay 
not allowed and if with the restriction if you want to go you will select restriction and if you want to allow just go with the allowed option okay so these are the two things we should provide under delivery and maintenance hope you guys are noting down all these navigations now go to fields tab yes this is the table structure okay here we will be maintaining fields one by one okay so this is a employee table right so the first field will be assume that employee number emp number okay and here is the place where we should provide a data element if you have already created data element you can provide here or else from here also you can create new data element so data element is also again a it's a dictionary item individual item okay and whatever we are going to create is a custom so custom means you should start with zrv c emp number okay so it is not available it's a new one what you need to do you should just double click on that okay it is asking till now whatever you did changes for this table do you want to save that yes i want to save it and where you want to store it local object okay yes now it is asking data element gmp number does not exist create the data element yes i want to create it oh somebody <laughs> okay guys we are working in uh, you know same system please don't i mean if you want to use it use a different name someone band 2 is trying to you know access the same name okay let me use yes so this is the data element screen where you should provide short description for data element and then here we see we have two options data element can be created by using domain or built in type also okay so domain we will see next and first you will go for built in type what is built in type is nothing but you guys are aware predefined data types in our program we have discussed predefined data types right like that at dictionary level also we have predefined data types so what are all those predefined we have see here different different data types It is only applicable for data dictionary okay these are all available at a data dictionary level so same thing that whatever six or seven data types are there right the same data only but here in a different different format they are given that see this is accp is nothing but posting period that means that what it will be it is a date basically but what date only year and month only will be there okay so that kind of format you know that kind of column if you want you will choose accp okay and character c h e r same like c only our c okay this is a client field so client field if you want to have it so you will be using this okay and then currency all the things see if you see this uh, floating point number we have a f right same thing and decimal factor number okay same as it is and integer numbers see how many integer uh, data types are there see Int one, int two, int four, int eight. Our int four and our i, okay, is both are same because four bytes there also here also four bytes. Understood? So this is how you have your own built-in type. So data element also can be created by using built-in type also. So you just go with character length, go with the sum, ten digit. Okay, employee. sorry employee number is right this is 
this. Okay. Now what you need to do? You should provide a field label after that. Okay. This is the label. Okay, so we have different different labels, short, medium, long, heading. Okay, so nothing, just only length differences. So always we need to activate it. Okay, the data elements once you created, it should be active. There is activate button and check button. Okay, and save button also. It is active. So we are done the data element now you see automatically this is the one field one column employee number in that i'm using data element to define the its characteristics okay data type cap and length is 10 and its description is a field label whatever the label you provide clear now i'm going to create one more column the employee name Okay, so same again, I'm creating, you know, data element. Raju, can you select an existing uh, data element just for our own reference, please? Yes, yes, you can select. Okay, if it is available, as per your requirement, you can use them. Okay? You did not create. Same way. How, how I am giving the data element name, right? The same way you just provide and put, click on enter. Okay? If it is there, you will come with all the details. Like, I mean, you know, its length, type, description, all those things. It will come. Got it? Since first time, I wanted to show all the ways.